What's up guys, it is Watch Chris back for Joma Shop. Today we're gonna to take a look at three dive watches. These are three dive watches, all from the Swatch Group. That's not intentional. However, all three of these watches are from the Swatch Group. They're three amazing dive watches that I feel go under the radar. They're two different price points. So we have two affordable dive watches, and then we have one that is not so affordable. So let's flip the camera and take a look at three watches from the Swatch Group, all three automatic divers, and all three fly under the radar. So as I mentioned in the intro, we're gonna be looking at three different dive watches. Ironically, all three of these watches are from the Swatch Group, and they are from two different price points. I'm gonna start with the more affordable watches in this trio of watches. The first watch I wanna talk about is the Mito Ocean Star Tribute. Today we're gonna to take a look at a blue dial variant. However, they make a black dial variant and they just started making some Fiume patterns as well. This blue dial has to be my favorite. It is in 40 millimeters. It's an all polished case and an all polished bracelet. The bracelet on this watch has to be one of the best bracelets that you can get at this price point. It is a beautiful bracelet, a very vintage looking dive watch with a multi-link bracelet, micro adjust on the fly. It's basically a dive extension that you can use as micro adjust. So it does work as micro adjust. And of course it's in 40 millimeters, as I mentioned. So this is a wearable watch with a boxed sapphire crystal, a matte dial, and a very reliable automatic movement inside. This gets the Powermatic 80. So this watch is a reissue of their vintage Ocean Star dive watch. So you get a lot of vintage vibes, but you also get that modern movement with 80 hours of power reserve. Just a really good looking watch that I think has the quality of much higher end watches. And I'm talking about watches like Omega. I actually directly compared this watch to an Omega 1957 because I think they have the same vibes, very good looking watches, and these are great prices. Next on the list is a big watch. This is a professional dive watch. It's from Tissot. I actually spoke about this watch in another video that I did here on Joma Shop. This is the Sea Star 2000 from Tissot. Again, this is powered by the Powermatic 80. This is a larger version of the Sea Star 1000, one of, if not the best, affordable diver that you can buy on the market these days. It's not as good as the Ocean Star Tribute, in my opinion, but it really is very, very affordable, and you get a very reliable 300 meter dive watch. This is a 600 meter dive watch. So this is a 46 millimeter version of that Sea Star 1000. You're getting a textured dial on here, which I think looks phenomenal. You also get a Fume pattern. The bracelet on here is upgraded. You get a lot of upgrades from that Sea Star 1000, but the price doesn't go much higher on this watch. And this is more of a professional dive watch. You're getting 600 meters of water resistance. It's big, but you're getting a ceramic bezel that is engraved. It's easy to read. And you could also see that movement from the back, that Powermatic 80. Put it down on a Friday night and you could leave it there for the entire weekend, pick it up on Monday to go to work. And obviously it still will have the correct time. Really awesome watch and a very under the radar, even though it doesn't look like an under the radar watch, because not a lot of people really know about this watch. And that's kind of the point of this list. Last but not least, and one of my favorite dive watches of all time is the Bathyscaphe from Blancpain. Now this is a gorgeous, straightforward dive watch. A lot of them are made in ceramic, some are made in titanium. It gets a ceramic bezel. It has the same movement as the 50 Fathoms. So essentially this is a 50 Fathoms. Way back when, when the 50 Fathoms originally came out, that was meant for a purpose. It was a purpose built tool watch made for work. People use those watches, the 50 Fathoms, the original 50 Fathoms for work. It was a tool watch. They also came out with a recreational diver watch. That was sort of a skin diver. That was the Bathyscaphe. It was made for civilians. It wasn't made for the military. It wasn't made for people who were going to be using it for work. It was made to be a reliable watch that you could use diving recreationally. And that is what the Bathyscaphe is. However, this watch is a serious dive watch. You get 300 meters of water resistance, a 43 millimeter case. You can get it on a strap. You can get it on a NATO strap, a two piece strap. 
it's a very good looking and very straightforward design. The dial has a sunray effect and these watches aren't cheap, but they do sell really well on the secondary market. Of course, Joma Shop have these in stock and they have them for a great price. Great looking, historic design. And of course, it's a Blancpain, so you really cannot go wrong with a watch like this. Three great watches here that I have named. The Ocean Star Tribute, one of my favorite affordable dive watches. The Sea Star 2000, a large watch, but it has a lot of details that make it sort of special when compared to other affordable dive watches out there. Also, it's a professional dive watch, so you're getting 600 meters of water resistance and you're getting a lot of robustness from that watch. And then of course, the Bothyscoff, a piece of history. You really cannot go wrong with a Blancpain 50 Fathoms. If you don't like the 50 Fathoms, the 45 millimeter case that they currently offer it in, you don't want that sapphire bezel. It's a little bit blingy. There's a lot of polish going on. This is really an under the radar watch, especially if you want a high-end dive watch that not a lot of people know about. Get the Bothyscoff. It's really, really cool. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think of this list. What do you think of these three watches? Under the radar dive watches. All three of these watches, very, very capable, uh, very good looking and really well made. And ironically, all three from the Swatch Group. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. We wanna hear from you guys. We're trying to build this channel here on Joma Shop. So if you can hit that like button if you found this video interesting or helpful. Please also don't forget to subscribe. It really is the easiest way to help support the channel and also hit that bell icon so you are alerted when we release videos. Anyway guys, thank you for logging on. We'll catch you in the next video.